Hello everybody and welcome to Mod the Gungeon. We're going to be doing an Enter the Gungeon custom character mod showcase here for the Afflicted. There's going to be a couple mods here that are in play that I'm going to describe real quickly, just in case you are interested, want to know what we're going to be covering exactly. The first thing is, the thing that makes this all possible, Kyle the Scientist made the custom character mod so that you can actually input custom characters into the game. And then Retrash made a, the custom character The Afflicted and a custom item pack, which this character uses a couple of. There is an active item down there and a passive item that are both custom, in addition to a bunch of other ones that may show up in chests or may not. We're going to cover those in a separate video. But this is the beginning of a kind of a side side series for Enter the Gungeon. We're, we're going to be covering different mods, basically mod showcase, but we're also going to be doing custom challenges suggested by viewers. And if you are interested in being one of those suggesters, you're going to have to join the Discord. There will be a channel in there, link in the description, and you can put your custom challenges in there. You can also suggest mods, especially if you made them yourself. Please, please let me know. I'm very, very interested to check out what you guys have to offer and your possible suggestions for runs. And they can be, if you're not sure, Mod the Gungeon can, uh, you can put in custom items or you can, uh, you give yourself items based off of anything in the game, so you can frame it around that. But alas, let's talk about the Afflicted now. He starts with two custom items, like I said before, in addition to the fact that back there the obvious is that he starts with two hearts and the crest. And that is the very same crest that uh, takes you to the Abbey of the True Gun. So, first of all, the active item, Beast Blood Injection. When you are armored... Wait, no, 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 that's the passive. When you are... <laughs> when you have it, when you use it, you take one heart of damage. You don't lose a heart container, you just lose a heart of damage. You get 2% damage up and an additional 0.3% damage, percent damage up for every point of curse you have. So that can be insane. That's on a very, very cursed run, that can get pretty wild, I, I can imagine. You can start stacking up a wild amount every time, like every single time you press the space bar bu button if you have a decent amount of health at your disposal. Pretty crazy. In addition to that, it is cursed with one point of curse just for having it. Worth noting because that means you get 2.3 minimum percentage every time you use it. Permanently increase the damage to the cost of a full heart, become more potent with Curse. Blunder Beasts are caliber spawns and their blood inherits the highly dangerous properties of the Jammed. This blood sample was originally collected to find a cure to the Blunder Beast Scourge. Second thing he starts with that is new is Blunder Beast Blight. This is an A tier. The active is a C tier, the A tier item here. While you're armored, you get three coolness. While you're unarmored, you get three curse, 20% damage up, 20% fire rate up, 1.75 movement speed up, and an accuracy downgrade of 25%. So, when we're armored, because it's kind of like a, you can think of him as infected marine. When he has his helmet on, that means you are safe. You got three coolness. Your active item, you can use it more, which could be more important, you know, if you have a different one, or you also get the extra room drops. So basically, armor on, play it safe. Armor off, play it dangerous, play it close to the vest. So a lot of, and that's a theme with a lot of the custom items that maybe we'll end up seeing, maybe we won't, we will, custom, or, uh, the custom items will, we'll focus on them more directly in, a, in another episode of this. You can, um, I hate, oh God, I hate plugging this early, but it just, it, you know, if you are brand new here, <laughs> I do enter the Gungeon videos every single day. And that is going to be, in be including some Mod the Gungeon stuff that you may be interested in, you know, checking out so you don't miss out on the coolest new mod for Enter the Gungeon. You can subscribe. I do Enter the Gungeon every single day. Every single day and more. So that's that. I also do have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Retromation, where I do stream Enter the Gungeon as well. That's that. Plugin done. -in. Hey, at least I didn't plug my Patreon until I kind of just actually, <laughs> I guess I side, sideways did right now. But not directly, because I ain't giving you the link. I ain't giving you the link. You're going to have to work for that. You're going to have to work for that one. But anyways, I'm really excited about this character. Whoop. Because he's kind of, he's a risk-reward. I, I talk about, I like characters 
and uh, and items in roguelikes that are a little bit risky. Things that let you sacrifice health. I'm just going to go for it, you know? Because the other thing I didn't even mention, we start out with dueling pistol with infinite ammo. Kind of sucks, but, you know. The character seems quite good, so he needs a little bit of a hindrance somewhere. All right, let's talk about the things I was going to talk about. I like Risk Award. Like, in Binding of Isaac, I love myself the deal with the devil. I like the, you know, sacrificing health for for power. It kind of gives you that bonus incentive to get extra good at the game. You know, like, it, it's got that extra little thing where I want to do good enough where I can sacrifice one whole heart container to get that super, super laser beam brimstone, you know? It... It's an extra boost, as if you need, you know, as if you need more. I'm going to attempt here to go to the Abbey of the True Gun. We'll see, we'll see if I can make it there. It's an interesting trade-off because we could also sacrifice a heart container right now. Also, we could use the, the Cursed Shrine and get super cursed and get all kinds of damage ups, but I'm going to play it a little safe for a bit here and see if we can maybe just pop off and get some curse in a more natural way over the course of the run. Maybe through stealing, maybe through Cursula. Unless I'm feeling really frisky at the end of this floor and I change my mind. Then maybe I'll go for it. But yeah, so it's really interesting. We have the chance to just completely, if we take no damage all the way to, uh, all the way up to the second floor and we find the shrine, we can skip the sewer, but still go to the Abbey. I, I think that's very cool. I've talked about that in a recent video that I wish that there was a custom character that started off with the uh, with, with with the crest. And lo and behold, one of the most popular one. Oh, we take those. We take those. One of the most popular custom characters, one of the most requested mods that I check out, starts with it. I'm a bit of a goof, but all right. Let's go for it. I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted to use my active item right now. Do it or no guts. All right. We did it once. We didn't get maximum value, especially if we were going to go back and do that shrine. I don't know. Kind of leaning a little bit towards the nah. To see if we can... We could always just mod the Gungeon in some extra curse and get things popping off near the end of the run. We are doing... Yeah, the mod the engine. That's it. I guess that is another thing worth mentioning. In order to make this mod work, that all the you're gonna need four mods. You're gonna need four, four different things downloaded. Mod the gungeon, and I'll have the links in the description for, for the things that uh, are relevant here. And that's gonna be yeah, mod the gungeon. You're gonna need that. It's just the the whole thing that it's like the console effectively and. You know, the fact you can spawn in items for yourself. Link in the description for that. And also, you're going to need Kyle the Scientist custom character mod. You're going to need the custom items. And you're going to need the actual character itself. You're going to need all those. We could look around for the secret room and be a little bit smarter about it. But I'm going to... Alright. I was just going to go with the, uh, the, you know, the usual suspects there. And apparently, no. Apparently not. In addition to the items and uh, the starting health and the dueling pistol, the obvious stuff you see, he does actually have a couple of stat changes that I didn't mention. And that's that he passively has a high damage roll doing 21 damage. I'm not exactly sure where that lines up. I thought that the uh, the bullets was 20, but I, I really don't know. I really don't know off the top of my head. Uh, but he does not have contact damage immunity. So he's got a risky, a risky roll. He's all about that, like, that's, you're going to see, that's the constant theme of this character. He is a little a bit risky if you want to, if you want to have maximum results. But I can imagine that near the end of the run, he could probably pop off pretty, pretty darn well. Probably pretty darn well. Okay, we got all kinds of cursed stuff. Why are we why are we so cursed? In theory, we should only have one curse right now. I didn't press the shrine in my sleep, did I? I wouldn't put it past me. Can we 
Stab it. Elevate gun. Do your thing. I guess it is doing its thing, isn't it? It being not very good is its thing. All right. If we can find the shrine right away, that'd be cool. I will. I will go. I'm feeling it over here. Nope. A lot of times it's just straight through the shop. We don't have any red hearts that we can sacrifice right now. Okay. I, I need to fully explain the character. There's one final one final thing. If you got, got here, you get to learn the final snippet. You, you're the true... The true squad of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. What's that? Who's this squad fan? Who the hell is that? I have no idea. I've heard that before. It's one of those things you just hear. I'm, gonna, I'm coming for whoever the hell you are is brand. You're, uh, yeah. There's a 10% damage decrease <laughs> by being the character. This is the final little tidbit of, uh, of secret information that I decided to wait until now to tell you. Apparently. So that makes having the uh, dueling pistol as your starter all the more garbage. Because it's not that good anyways. Oh, that was the worst possible dodge angle. No demand. And we lost the crest. I mean, I could just give it to myself again. but Whoop. Whoop. I was going to say, if that was the, the thing right there, and that stupid of a dodge is... Uh, is what did me in, did me dirty. That would just make so much sense. Excuse me. Delete him. Send him. I'd like ammo in our uh, mine cutter, please. Okay, let's uh, for the for the hell of it. For the hell of it, just to kind of get the flavor. Ooh, that was cool looking. Do you see that down there? Zip back a little bit and do a little bit of a... Oh, ow. <laughs> Pause. Slammed my knee on the table there. Take that. Honestly, I am tempted to get the alien sidearm right now, just because... Elephant gun doesn't do it for me. And we're going to run out before the boss. Anyways... I'm just that crazy. What can I say? It's worth noting it does not let you die. It won't let you bop yourself if you don't have enough health to uh, to handle it. In fact, it doesn't let you bop yourself if you have uh, a full heart container, even if you have shields. It's just... The, I don't know. I feel like the game doesn't have a way to register that you're out of red health without being dead. They don't let you die. Stupid protective game. It's a pretty pretty dangerous type of health up there. Alright, looks like we're going to maybe have to fight the boss with just the dueling pistol, which is honestly not great. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I need a... I just need a gun. The bullet's actually really not bad. I would like the drum clip, too. I'll take it for the curse. Sure. Now our, our damage that we do to ourselves is going to just be a little bit more valuable. So we should be sitting at one curse, and then when we lose our armor, we're going to be sitting at four. Door Lord. Hello, Door Lord. No! You gotta be kidding me. I fight him like once every 20 years. Very glad we picked up a good gun or a good with an asterisk gun to fight this son of a son of a biscuit with. Oh, yeah, we're gonna need to dodge that one and we're gonna need to get out of here quick. He is just a right pill, ain't he? Uh-oh. We didn't do it right. 
We didn't do it right. We got out of there, okay? Man, we lost the health upgrade. We did good. Like, the second after we got hit, we, we rocked that just completely fine there. Helix. I actually, uh, I for one love the Helix. I'm actually going to fill up that. Wait, what? Oh, full metal jacket. Forgot about that. We just literally just got it. Uh, I don't think we have enough to get this. 62? 62. 62. Alright, on to the next. Well, at least we'll have enough to maybe buy the rat key. Oh, I didn't go to the Abbey. Uh, Reno, go to the Abbey. I know, I made a mistake. I don't think we can teleport there. That's okay. That's okay. We It's not a new area. Not a new area, so it's not... <laughs> Imagine this character... But in the Abbey of the True Gun instead. There's nothing really new you'd find there. Plus, honestly, I didn't earn it anyways. So, frankly, I shouldn't shouldn't go. You know, it makes me so mad when you don't go to the Abbey. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Whoop. Give me I'm good. I kind of want to lose my armor and play a little bit like that, but now we are sitting at such low red health. Oh, man. Where you at? Where you at? Sitting at such low red health that I feel like I would want to restore a decent amount of it before we rocked that. Sinner Grace. We wouldn't be able to buy the rat key, but we could just mod the Gungeon in at the rat key for ourselves so we can see if he's got extra sprites and stuff. I wonder... I'm gonna guess no. I was gonna say, I wonder if any of these custom items have synergies. That'd be pretty slick. But I'm feeling like they probably don't, though. Excuse me. God, I like this. It's just... It's such a satisfying gun. It's not... It's not top tier, gets oft forgotten, but it's pretty darn punchy. Bite me. <laughs> I made two mistakes. This guy. This absolute guy. We couldn't we couldn't have purchased the rat key because it was on the last floor, we didn't have enough money. So there we go. We'll go to the rat though. For real this time. For real this time. I'm just so interested. I'm just focused on this character. He's so cool. The artwork is so neat. All the sprite work of the items that I've seen is just really, really cool. And it it fits in well. Like, it, you can kind of tell that it's... Here's what it seems like. To me, it seems like if there was a DLC character pack. Like a, a mini, mini expansion. Like... Let's make the joke. Uh, let's say EA took over Enter the Gungeon. Dodge roll sells Enter the Gungeon to EA, and they, they're like, here's a extra character and like mini update pack for uh, <laughs> twenty dollars for, for you know for a couple bucks for two bucks. Here's a character and some extra items. It feels like it would make sense. Like they all seem thematic with each other. They seem remotely thematic with uh, you know with the game. Maybe tonally very very slightly off but not very much like really not very much so honestly like really well done there really well done there there we go we have not seen what the character looks like with its helmet off we'll uh, we'll try to make sure we showcase that as well Bloody 9mm. Good use of all of that ammo. Great use of all of that ammo. Buy a health upgrade. We could buy hearts to, <laughs> to destroy. 42 shells for what? Uh, at this point, it would be a 2.6% damage up. I would dig a Cursula. 
That would be so slick. I would buy like crazy. Cause you, yeah, you just get the added benefit, you know? Pox can. It's not, it's not bad. Don't have any blanks. We use them to get to the rat. Hopefully we remember to go to the rat. Blip, 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 blip. Yeah, it's doing, doing quick work. We, we've got definitely a noticeable amount of damage going on compared to when we started at the very least. We probably pressed it one, two, three, four, five, five-ish times. So therefore, we should be having a net damage up. What's that synergy with? Oh, I mean, not bad. Not bad. Not like it doesn't blow my noodle or anything, but. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. Let's go. Double, double helix. Double, double super size and don't forget fries. Dr. Pepper, my brother, another for your mother. Anybody watch that video from 10 years ago? And still have it in their head. Oh my god, what have I done? What have I done? I just like... I got that song on my brain, man. Don't you leave me. Don't you leave me. Don't you leave me! Alright. That's fine. That's fine, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. We're playing like an absolute scrub today. Disappointed. All right, let's not do that yet. I'm consider. I'm, I'm thinking about it though. Gun muncher, maybe, maybe good idea. This guy got hit twice on the cannon Balrog. He can't fight the rat. Yes, I can. I just, it was a bad fight, I promise. You only watch when I make mistakes, Mom. You never watch when I when I successfully jump <laughs> jump the car. Okay, got that double double helix. If we can make it. To, uh, to the rat without taking damage, we can have a very, very obvious free uh, heart container to play around with. Th is, this is the worst. <laughs> I trapped behind the table there. Do we have a speed down or something? Like, I know we get a speed up. It doesn't say anything about having being naturally slower. So I would assume no. I feel like that would be in the, uh, in the sheet of info about the character. Up, up, down. Just want to see if these guys got some rat sprites. Nope. Nope. Right. Okay, down, up. Easy enough. I don't like this situation, but we do have extra roll damage, so we should definitely be able to kill him. I think you can normally kill him with rolls anyways. Alright, what the fell? I feel like we do this. We definitely do that once. Hell, we maybe do it twice. Let's do it thrice. I'm a bad boy. You can't stop me. We should be doing pretty, uh, you know, as they say in <laughs> medical school, buku damage. Oh, I dodged that wrong. Eh, don't like the rat trap placement there. And we're going to have to blank that again. The dodge was just not good. 
Leaves us with no blanks for the second phase, but honestly, I think I usually, uh, excuse me, need less blanks for that phase than the first phase. That's right. I, I just, I waited. I didn't switch my weapons properly so that I could show you that I do know how to dodge that move. Old Rito's not that dusty. Okay, phase two. I usually have an easier time with this phase than the other one as far as damage goes, and today will be the day where that's going to be not true. Let's go for more damage. That's right. That's right. He's crazy. He's a crazy man. Oh, that giant shot there. We should get further away if we, you know, can help it because of snowball it's. Should have got right up in the uh, <clears throat> cockpit up there because you can actually dodge that in a really, che really cheesy way if you just get r literally right here. Ayo. Pretty cute, huh? Pretty cute, huh? Right up in the cockpit. Whoop. All right, now we get to see if he's got sprites. Oh, he do. He do. It's it's a clearly it's a modified marine one, but look at that up there. Looking good. Oh, a little early. Eh, let's just Oh, Scouter. Scouter's gonna be great. Scouter's gonna be really good. Gives us curse and damage up, and even more damage up in, a, in an offshoot way. Excuse me. My fist was coming out. You're gonna get a big boy punch, man. Wow! All right. Nope, you're getting a big boy punch now too. Uh oh, uh, I'm doing it. No, oh, stupid. The hubris of this man. Round two. That's right. Yeah, let's just say that's enough. That is enough. Hey, we got duct tape. Hell yeah. Well, we're going to have to duct tape something up here if we want to keep our cool light, which I think we do. All right, what do we want to duct tape? Something to Proton Backpack would be pretty good. Honestly, nothing is standing out to me at all. Anything we duct tape to uh, to the Proton Backpack, it's infinite, or not infinite ammo, but infinitely fast reload. But nothing there is really that, I guess, I guess we do this. It's so strange. Okay. Very, very wonky. There we go. Give me a full heal. So that I can just <laughs> just send it. Why'd I do that? Uh, don't really want to become the rat because then we can't see the cool artwork of this character. Definitely going to go for this here. Uh, that. Just get everything but the gun. Everything but the gun. If we die to the advanced dragon today, I quit. Oh, four things? Thank you. That's right. You don't need two keys. It's a lie.
Those are the kind of uh, elite strategies you can get here on the Retromation channel. Oh, whoa! Cool. Cool. Doing nine damage for each bullet there. I think that's a lot. I think that's a lot. If we stand back, we could probably do, be doing... Doing ten now. Ten damage because of snowball it's. Let's see if we can get even... Can we see eleven? Eleven! Honestly, having the scouter on for most of the custom mods that I do would probably be a good idea. Or we could just get the custom health bars mod. Because it's effectively... It's effectively what it is. No, the character does not have a custom pass. We don't need it. We don't need to check that. You don't got no custom pass. That would be, uh, I feel like that's a little ways out yet in the scope of what's possible with Mighty Gungeon right now. This is my call to, call to action for everybody. If you, you know, if you want to have a mod potentially featured on here, start plugging away at, at making a mod. And I would love to see the, uh, the modding community be kind of, like, vitalized and, uh, you know, the final update is... Uh, for the game is is done, you know, it's over. So uh, that means it's up to the community to if they're, you know, anybody wants more more stuff added to the game, it's up to the community now with Mod the Gungeon. So if you want have to have something featured, you'll get a special little shout out, of course, and uh, you know, a link to your mod and everything like that. Get cracking! It's actually really really easy to make a custom character mod right now. If you want custom items, that's something I think is going to be. I think it's a little extra advanced. I don't even. I don't know if it's even that bad, but I can tell you, custom characters are pretty easy to make. The difficult thing, literally the difficult thing about them, is just making the sprite sheet. The art takes a while, but making a custom character really easy, really really easy. Oh. Like not not complicated. I you probably you might have seen in the breach in some of my other videos, but I'm currently working on one for uh, I'm making a Binding of Isaac character custom mod where he starts with Tearjerker and the Ring of the Resourceful Rat. You know, kind of playing around with the uh, the D6 stuff of that of that nature. No custom items, but uh, you know, it seemed pretty. It seemed like a pretty fun idea. I'm considering here letting myself lose all my shields. I'm considering it. I think we could be doing some ridiculous damage if we do. I need to see that. I feel like this, this just... That's what I was going to say. This just feels like it's going to make sense. Look at that. It just fits. Something about this character just looks right holding this guitar. You've got to be kidding me, right? Like that? You did, you did me dirty like that? We'll, we'll do that, though. We'll do it. This item's too strong. Too strong. We don't, we don't use that here. We don't need that. Too weak. <laughs> we don't use that here. Waxwing. Okay, so what curse are we at? We have one from Scouter, one from our base item, one from... Okay, so we're sitting at probably three. If we buy spice, things would get real wacky real fast. Alright. Things about to get uh, crazy. If we, if we lose our... If we lose our health, our shields, we might actually... Spawn Lord of the Jams. So 2.5 from buying from her and 0.5 from using the spice. That puts us at 3 cursed gain. We're currently at 3. No, that would put us at 9. In theory, we'd be at 9. If we lost our shields. But if another spice shows up, I mean... Who am I to not take it, right? What kind of guy would, that, would I be to not take the spice and probably die? 
That ain't me. To not take that challenge. So, our curse is probably definitely a lot higher. So, the damage gain from our, uh, our item should be a lot higher. Still doing 11, though. But maybe we're doing 11 from a closer distance. Who am I to not take spice? Who would, what kind of guy would I have to be? Still looking like we're doing 9, though. Not liking that. 40? Maybe it's because that's all they take to die? No, that doesn't make sense. It feels like we're killing faster. Alright. Can't wait till we go Super Saiyan. Alright. Accuracy, yep. I mean, I'll take it. No qualms with that here. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm like dropping, I'm like completely dropping the ball on the boss. It's just not paying enough attention. In my head, I was like, I want to use my beast blood right now. I want to use my injection. Not smart. Lose the master round, I'm sure. Easy. <laughs> Didn't kill him before the doorway, though. Which is usually my big test. My big, big test. What else you got? Alright, let's just go. So we did two spikes. Alright, alright. Let's just go. Let's go and let's not... I was going to maybe buy wax wings, but... I'm not going to do that so that we feel like we can take more spice if it shows up. Because this character seems like uh, like spice would be nice, you know? 14, 12. All right, we're doing more now. We in there. What does this crazy ball do for damage? I saw 118. I saw 118. Yikes. 37. I'm guessing that that's all the health it has. 31. Yeah. That's my educated guess, is that it just doesn't have more health than that. Boo! Give me somebody with a lot of health. 32? That doesn't sound right. That don't sound right. That's supposed to kill you harder. Gungeon 2, kill harder. Boo. Let's rock out. Wait, what? I said, let's rock out. Helix Bullets just does such strange things with this gun. Alright. We haven't picked up anything in our resourceful rat sack. That don't, uh, don't sound right. Triple gun. Triple dent gun. I don't think I have anything for it. What happened to my dueling pistol? Why is it... What? What synergy do I have? Hmm. Didn't even realize. That's kind of a cool thing about these modded characters is... Dodgeball doesn't want the main... Like, the, the characters to have potential synergies with their starting items. Because I guess that... They didn't want to factor that in as a potential balance-related issue, uh, maybe, is my, my best guess as to why. Look at that one hemorrhaging off it like crazy. That's my, yeah, that's my most educated guess there. Hazmat suit, 
<laughs> I don't think that can save me now. I'm pretty pretty afflicted. Uh, but you know, it'll be kind of fun to have a you know some custom characters where you are on the lookout a little bit for some synergies. And it'd be it, it'd even be interesting to have a couple custom characters where that's like really, really kept in mind while they were made, like certain synergies that maybe will show up pretty decently, or you know, like a character starting with the alien sidearm would honestly be OP. Actually, you know, with the infinite ammo, getting that synergy would actually be OP for a starting for a starting item, at least. All right. I'm sure we have stuff we can get rid of, but I just a lot of times on this this late in the run, I'm like, I'm kind of attached to these this mishmash, batch of garbage, garbage and good stuff. Spice is so expensive. <laughs> All right. Turn to a life of, uh, of droogs. Kind of want to just keep firing this so that we can use the beam boy on Big Big Dragon. Just keep on wasting. Oh my god. Bloody 9mm is just killing it. Making this gun actually not too annoying to use right now. So we should have a lot of curse. So when I do this, it <laughs> should... Give us a decent chunk of damage up. Let's walk all the way there while firing. There we go. Well, we could, we can save this a bit, or or we could do this for the, for this phase. That makes sense. And then we'll switch for the advanced dragon phase. So when it gets down to 50, uh, I don't think so, sir. That was a dirty, dirty combo there. When switches, we'll, uh, switches at 50, we'll, we'll save it if we get it early. We're, like, surprisingly doing less damage than I guess I would expect, but I think just, you really do have to factor in boss armor pretty heavily on runs like this. That's stupid. Well, we were going to take damage anyways on the advanced dragon, so no, it's all good. We got to be careful. We have a lot less health than it seems like. It looks like we got a lot up there, but we really don't. This sucks. No, don't slow down. Don't slow down. Oh, my God. Oh, my. What the hell? This slowdown is so bad right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? That slowdown destroyed me because it made the guy shoot more shots. That is a situation I've never been in with that. Oh my god. Come here, come here. It's like not even that. Big of a deal. Did we get hit by something we did? We're gonna die. We're gonna die because I goofed around too hard. Whoop! Get in the corner. Get in the corner. This I don't like. This I don't like. Oh, this is... This I really don't like. Is that thing dead yet? Die. Alright, we get hit one more time. I'm gonna do this just because I'm curious. I don't want to... Oh, shoot. I didn't... I don't really want to use it. But I just—I have more stuff I want to play around with. There we go. We got—we got crazy mode on. That's what I wanted to see. Crazy mode activated. I just had to see. I—I I didn't want to die until I played around a little bit more. 
Just had to do it, just in case. But crazy mode is crazy. Holy crap. So we got three extra curse. So in theory, the Lord of the Jam should show up. He is right there. Hello, mister. Oh, that sucks. All right, well, we got the... <laughs> we got the pig. Let's let's just play around with crazy mode on, and if we die, we die. Like, I don't really care. He's, look at it. He's so handsome. So handsome. All right, what's the safest sort of thing to do? I mean... Guess that. Whoa! Oh, the frames. It ain't coming out. Why ain't it coming out? Just takes so long, I guess. Ah, yes. Turn to the, the life of Droog again. Yeah, I don't really want to use that. I want I just want to use a normal gun. Sue me. Why does Pig have a life bar? I don't want to use him. But I'm going to. Oh. No, because Clutch Man Supreme. Uh, that's a loop. That was this pathing is insane. I'm going so fast, man. Oh, I'm going too fast. I feel like okay, that was I was wrong. I thought it was a loop, maybe it's not. It was not. Disappointed in myself. Uh oh. We do so much damage we can use most things and probably be completely fine. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Didn't mean to use that, but all good. No second face. That's what we should be doing. It's just, it seems so cheesy, but it's okay. Part of it, part of the game. And a lot of times with the, with black hole gun, I get hit anyways, cause I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm completely safe because this thing is out and about and doing its thing. Part of me wants to drop the Beast Blood Synergy just so we, like, don't want... Oh, uh, excuse me? Uh, real excuse me? When did they add one of those to this room? Not a fan of that addition. Could somebody drop a health for me, please? Somebody want to do me a solid and drop me a heart container? Nothing would make me happier. No. Nah. Oh. Okay. Seems like a loop. Might not be a loop. It seems like a loop. Uh, mistakes were made. Let's just not trust myself this time. Oh! Whoa! What? Wait, what? What? Oh, I have Full Metal Jacket! I, I was so confused. I was so confused about how I didn't die that I forgot this whole time I had Full Metal Jacket. It's okay. All right. Well, dead pig. Maybe dead run anyways. Honestly, like, I could so die. I could so die anyways. I was doing really well for a bit there, but... That's just how it goes, you know? Now that I have my health back, I'm going to play like a doinkus. Just do that. Just make it so it's impossible to play like a doinkus. 
I'm using the uh, the mine cutter here as my secondary because it is more of a beam style weapon, so it doesn't matter that I'm using a black hole gun because normally black hole gun obviously sucks up your bullets. It doesn't really suck up these bullets though. Lets you get a little bit little bit more damage in. All right, what do you do? Why do they seem like they're so resilient still when we get to the boss I I gotta I gotta do a little bit of uh, of cheesing with the the starting item the active item because I gotta I gotta play around with it to its full full potential here in fact you know let's do it right now because we're not gonna be here much longer Let's see, what else? Uh, give heart lunchbox 10. Sure. And let's just go crazy. All right, let's... We're, bloop, 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 bloop. All right, we should, like, be one shot. Oh, my. Yeah, so no, no surprise. That's some one shot. Let's explore. Oh, we fast. Can anything one shot? Wow, that was that was basically even a one shot. Oh, spice. It's okay, we killed a rat. This is so stupid. Why why use this gun? Let's get a lot of damage just to use the gun that still puts us in danger. Get in the pit. Get in the pit. I said get in the pit. Oh, we're <laughs> I'm in danger again. I've done it to myself. That's right. That's right. Two hearts. Let's go. Okay. Damage cap makes it so that it really doesn't matter. That uh, I have a billion damage. It just does not matter at all. Thank you, damage cap. Yeah, look at that. That is so... That's so lame. I should turn... I should get that mod that turns off the damage cap. Doesn't matter that I'm doing this much damage. Doesn't matter at all. Doesn't matter at all. Doesn't matter. The slowdown seems like it actually could be pretty good here. What about... No, no, no. I was... Never mind. I kind of just want to die as the pig and just... Just <laughs> use the item like crazy here. I'm going to... I'm going to jump into the pit. And then for the whole third phase, I'm going to be doing the injections. Oh, I can't jump into the pit. There we go. I'm going to just do injection on injection on injection for the whole third phase. Just to... Just to style on him. Make him feel uncomfortable. Watch the pig not actually. He's like, I'm not doing that again for you. I'm not doing that again. Injection. Injection. Doesn't really... Yeah, just... It doesn't really matter, though, is the problem. We'd have to turn off the boss damage cap with the... I think there is a mod that does let us do that. For To really see any kind of effect of what I just did with giving myself a million hearts and then giving, taking them all away. Style on him. That's right. I'm just giving myself the uh, the blood blood bloodborne injections. Really does remind me of sort of like a bloodborne kind of kind of thing. Inject, 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 inject. Well, there we go. That about does it for. <laughs> day and the first kind of installment of the enter the gungeon mod showcasing mod the gungeon series so since it's the first episode of this kind of thing if you could give it extra love share it around with people show people the custom character mod stuff like that things that are possible with enter the gungeon share this i'd be greatly appreciated 
I'd be greatly appreciat appreciative, not appreciated. Maybe I'd be appreciated. I don't know. But other than that, if you have suggestions for custom runs for me to do or custom mods that you really want me to check out, join the Discord with the link in the description below where you will also find the links to the mods that I use today. Go in there, find the suggestions channel, and tell me what custom mod you want me to do or what custom run you want to see. Custom runs will probably be coming up in a little bit while I let them kind of, you know, the suggestions build up a little bit. But then other than that, subscribe for daily Enter the Gungeon videos, a lot of which are going to be mod focused for a little while or maybe for a long while, depending on how uh, how much the mod co modding community kind of takes off. And follow me on twitch.tv slash retromation to catch me streaming games live. And that's going to do it. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you, thank you. And see you next time. Bye.